Matthew Bouquet, the man suspected of sending rice and lace letters, was back in court today. He's accused of sending letters to a federal judge and President Obama. KXY 4's Ian Cole was the only TV reporter in court today, and Ian Bouquet's trial has been delayed. Why is that? You know, basically, it's because this case is so complex. Bouquet and his attorney waived a right to a speedy trial because of the amount of evidence they still need to go through. Today in court, Bouquet remained calm while constantly pouring and drinking water. We can't show you any video because our cameras are not allowed in U.S. District Court. His attorneys say they are still in the discovery stage where they get the, to view all the evidence against their client. It's a process that could last until September. The federal search warrant executed at Bouquet's apartment in Brown's edition is still sealed as well, so we can't report what is in it. But in court today, Prosecutors say the digital evidence alone may take days to explain to a jury. The judge and attorneys agreed the case may last more than two weeks, so Bouquet's trial was pushed all the way back to May 5th of next year. He faces charges of mailing a threatening communication to a federal judge, mailing threatening communication to the president, and developing, producing, and transferring a biological toxin. Each of the five letters he sent contained ricin and a note that said, quote, we have a bomb placed we are going to kill you, signed Hezbollah. The next time he's scheduled in court is early September for a status hearing. Ian Cole, KXOY4 News.